Hello there. Today I'm going to talk about slow sales. Are your sales slow? Have you noticed that people are not buying like they used to? Are you noticing that people are offering less for your items? Well, if any of that is true, you're going to want to watch this video. going. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. If you don't know me or my channel, I'm a reseller of 20 years. I mostly sell on eBay, but also sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. I'm here to help you as a reseller, if whether you're beginning, beginning, a beginner, or whether you've been selling for a while, I'm here to give tips, tricks, and topics to help you grow your eBay business. A lot of things I do on this video, I answer questions, I give you, you know, helpful information to help you as the reseller, and I give you a lot of ideas of what to go out and source. But today I thought I would talk about slow sales. I'm sure most of you have, if you're not going through that right now, you have in the past. Um, you know, I have been going through it for a little while. I did very, very well around Christmas. I did very well in January, even the beginning of February. Then I noticed towards the end of February through now, things have really slowed down. And I've also noticed that when people want to buy something, they're more likely to send me a lowball offer than to just buy the item. And that's one, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is take all reasonable offers. I wasn't doing that. I was like, okay, I know what this item is worth. They're offering me a $5 on a $20 item. Well, no, you know, screw them. Uh, makes me bad. You know, no, no. First of all, don't take a personal. I am talking to myself as well because these people have a budget in mind of what they could spend and you know, uh, they're only going to go to a certain amount. You can counter all you want, but I'm learning. I turned down about three or four offers recently thinking they're going to come back with a counter, but they didn't. They used to. I used to like have a go back and forth or they'd offer me something in the middle, but I'm noticing that's not the case. I think people are just, you're turning down their offer. Uh, they're just moving on. You know, and I know the economy has a lot to do with that. You know, the inflation, you know, people are being frugal as I understand they should be. I am too. Um, you know, they either don't have a lot of money to spend or they're trying to make the money they have last as long as they can. That, I mean, that's great. Uh, but us as eBay resellers, we have to realize that that's what's going on. And I wasn't getting it. I was like, hey, I know they're offering me this low ball amount, but I want to get this. They're offering me this, but I want to get this for the item because I know it's worth it. Well, screw that. Uh, you've got to learn to take all reasonable offers. Yesterday, I got an offer, an $8 offer on a $14 item. And yes, I so wanted to counter them with like 12 or 10, but then I thought I'm going to lose the sale. And I also heard one of the YouTubers, the resellers on YouTube say that, you know, probably when you take an offer, eBay is going to want you to take that offer and they might boost you in search, you know, might do something to the algorithm when you accept offers. Sure enough, accept the offer and boom, 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 I started getting offers. Don't know if there's a connection there or not, but... Um, I'm going to stop with this tottiness of, you know, oh, I only want to get a certain amount. No, we are in a time right now when everybody is trying to be careful with their money. So we are in a different time than we were even a year ago or during the pandemic. During the pandemic, you know, you probably could, you know, counter with something. They take it or maybe counter with a little less, you know, sales were going through the roof. I know for me, I did really well. Um, but we're in a different time now. So you have to, you know, 
just take all reasonable offers. That is my advice to you. Of course, you do what you want. It's your business. But that's what I'm going to start doing. Excuse me. And a lot, a lot of times it depends what you paid for the item. You know, if I paid $10 for that item, they're offering me $10. Well, probably not going to take it. But, you know, there's something to be said for taking an offer, even if you're making a loss, taking a loss on it. Because that maybe it will boost the algorithm. Maybe you will start getting more offers or more outright sales. I know I just got a bunch, like 10 sales in two days. And, you know, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, crickets for weeks, no! which was so unlike, you know, what was happening before. I was getting tons of sales from all three of those platforms, mostly Facebook Marketplace. And I'd say Mercari was second and then Posh but nothing and i'm like what is going on i'm still listing via list perfectly i don't know what's going on so i kind of stopped because i thought i need to concentrate on ebay and yet yeah, ebay slowed down too but ebay is my main bread and butter platform so i was going to concentrate on that so i started getting as of yesterday i started getting a bunch of sales on ebay then i got a couple of sales on poshmark then i got a sale on mercari and then I got a sale. No, I don't think I did get a sale at Facebook Marketplace, which is quite unusual. But I'm going to keep cross-posting when I have time. But eBay is my main platform. So that is what I'm going to concentrate the most. So yeah, you guys, that's my first bit of advice. Take all reasonable offers. Obviously, you know what you pay for the item. You know what you want to get for the item. But, you know, think about that person too. You know, they might really need or want that item, but they don't have a lot of money. You know, I'm trying to think of the buyer as well. Of course, you got to think of yourself because you got to make money, you know, to stay in this business, um, to support your family or pay your bills or whatever you do with the money you earn from eBay and other platforms. So it's all up to you. But I would really think seriously about taking all reasonable offers. I know I'm going to for now on. All right, so the, here's the thing. When your sales are slow, you still have to keep listing. It's tough. I get it because I have a hard time. List through the frustration. List through the, you know, it's tough because the motivation is not there for me when the sales are slow, when the sales aren't there. Um, you know, I'm just like, why am I doing this? It's like, I don't feel like listing. But the thing is, you got to keep listing or you're not getting sales. So I list anyway, maybe I'm not listing as much that day. I kind of maybe knock off early that day because I just lost my motivation. But every time I continue to list, I will get the sales. Maybe I have a day or two of slowness, maybe one sale that day or none. But then the next day I'll have five, or six or seven, whatever. You just got to do it. <laughs> if this is what you want to do and this is your main source of income or even if it's a hobby or it's just kind of your side hustle you got to keep listing all right i've talked about this before tweak your listings go in there lower prices i'm doing that with a lot of my listings i'm just lowering the prices because people don't want to pay high prices right now well it depends it depends on the person and what you're selling because i just sold a game for 30 dollars so it wasn't a game. It was uh, like, oh, it's hard to describe. I'll put it up on the screen. But it's just this thing that I had for sale for a couple of years. I thought I'd never sell them. And then boom, they, they bought both of them. <laughs> it's like a table covering that you write on or something. Like I said, I'll put it up on the screen. Somebody bought two of them for 30 bucks plus shipping. So yeah, you're still going to get the people that will pay pay up for an item. But I think a lot of people just want to get a deal. Um, yeah, I know eBay is not a garage sale, but in this time and age, it kind of is, you know, people really, really want to, you know, get the most from their money. And again, you've got to have a balance. You've got to think of them. You got to think of yourself, you know, what, what can you sell this item at and make the most profit? But you also got to think about them too. This item could sit in your inventory for months or years. That's happened to me where I've turned down a sale or I declined it or I countered. They didn't take it. They declined it. And then it's sitting, sitting, sitting. And I'm like, why didn't I just take it? You got to move your items. Turn and burn, as they say. You know, I've got over $1,000 in my inventory. And, you know, it's, I'm kind of packed to the gills here. I've got a couple, you know, room and some totes. 
but I've got to get this stuff out of here. And you know, you got to think of it this way too, is let's say I took a bunch of offers, $8 offers, $10 offers. Yeah, I just took four or five of them. Well, gee, that added up to the cost of the one item that I was going to sit on and not take their offer on. So think about that way, turning and burning, getting the item out the door, making room for new inventory. And the fact that little offers that you accept add up to big money. So, you know, you could sell 10, 20 items a day, eight, $10. Hey, that adds up. So that's another thing to be thinking of. All right, list items people want. Yeah, that's like goes without saying, does Cindy, but yeah, do your research. Don't just buy things without thinking about it unless you absolutely know that's going to sell. So yeah, look on eBay, see what the things that are selling for the most and selling the quickest. Not only do you want to search by highest what they sold for, but look at the dates when they sold. So that's important too. So, you know, and make sure that it's not a too saturated market. Um, you know, I've heard that eBay is going more it's towards collectibles, handbags, um, shoes, that kind of thing right now. But I've got a lot of clothes <laughs> and they have been selling, selling slowly, but that's what I'm selling right now. My new niche clothes. Um, I'm trying to back off on the shoes because I've got way too many shoes and those are not selling for me right now. Um, I think I'm just going to go in and lower the prices on my shoes just to get them out of here. Um, clothes do sell for me. It is a little bit slower but um that's what i'm focusing on and yeah pick a niche find the thing that you want to sell that sells the best for you that could be multiple of an item but uh, maybe pick two to five one to five categories and just sell in those you know i never used to be like big on a niche because i thought i want to sell everything but i've learned that you know um because i have a lot of clothes that's what i'm going to sell so I'm selling purses and clothes and shoes mostly. Yeah, I have some belts. Belts kind of sit for me. I have some scarves that kind of sit for me. Um, that purses, purses can sit. But those are things, and that's the other thing, is sell what you enjoy. Pick the niche, pick the things that you enjoy listing. If you're not enjoying listing it, it's not gonna do any good. It's just gonna sit in your death pile or profit pile. And you're not going to list it because I know firsthand my husband would buy things like air filters or, 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 um, hoses like for a washer and dryer, that kind of thing, you know, boring. He buys brake pads, you know, boring stuff. I don't want to list. I do list it, but then they sit in my store and I'm like, this is the item I didn't want to list in the first place. And now it's just sitting there. So he's learned, he loves me. And so he does what I ask. <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to be selling that stuff anymore. And like I told you before, I'm constantly trading more on clothes. I do have multiple bins of miscellaneous items. Um, I will be looking at collectibles. I still have a lot to learn about collectibles as far as pottery and glass, that kind of thing. Um, some are obvious to me, like I know Capa de Monte, you know, I know Carnival Glass, but I still have a lot to learn about the high-end glass and pottery out there. And, and I, I'd love to learn more. In fact, about thinking about getting a book and kind of studying it. So, all right, so whittle down that death pile that goes without saying, try not to source death pile, profit pile. Try not to source until you've listed at least most of your items. I'm telling myself that too. I have an abundance of items to list right now. I have, did not go thrift store shopping at all this last week. I am going tomorrow because I want to go to Goodwill and um, get some different things at that store. Not going to probably be looking for clothing. Um, but I'm trying to keep it to once a week because I have an abundance of items to list. So yeah, whittle down that death slash profit pile. Ask people for free items. You know, tell everybody you know that you're a reseller. See if they have anything they want to donate. I don't do consignment. You could do it if you want. If you want to split it 50-50 or however you want to split it with somebody, that's great. I don't like consignment at all. Did it before. It's tough getting the money to the person because they didn't have a PayPal account. At that time, eBay was not doing managed payments. They were just doing PayPal. So I had a hard time getting it to her. So I had to withdraw it from PayPal and then they charged me a fee and it just wasn't worth it. I just don't like it at all. I would tell my parents, I don't want to do it for you, but if you want to give me stuff, that's different. <laughs> and they do. 
you know, All right. do unique items. Try and sell unique items or multiples of an item. If, if you found a shirt or pants, jeans, whatever that sells well, try and buy a bunch of them um, in different sizes. And maybe people will buy them for their family, you know. Um, yeah, that is one thing to do. I'm not interested in that. I like to sell unique items, one of a kind items. Uh, but, you know, I hear some people do very well that way. So if that's something you want to do. Yeah. So make your listing stand out. Um, I believe mine do. I've listed things that are multiples for sale. And so what I do sometimes, I don't always do this. Sometimes I undercut everybody and that gets my item sold. Not always. Sometimes I go middle of the road. They're um, listing it for less and some people listing for more. So I kind of go middle of the road. But what gets the item sold for me is the fact that my listing stands out. I'm very careful about my keywords for my description. I put a description, I describe the item as much as possible. I almost always do 12 pictures, not always. If the item's new, I do five to six, because you can't, there's only so many pictures you could take. But if it's like a game or something, I do all sides. I do the inside, I show everything that's included. You know, clothing, I do about five. I'll do the front, then I kind of do a close-up of this area, then I do the tag, then I do both, because I'm doing the women's, if it's women's, it's on dress form, so I do both sides, then I do the back. So men's, it's just hanging, I, I'm doing hanging now instead of flat lay, and I usually just do front, close-up, tag, and the back, and that's it. So, but the pictures that I do include are very clear. I don't ever include a blurry picture. If a picture is blurry, I delete it and take it over. So that's what gets my stuff sold over to other people. And there have been times that I've listed it and I've sold it like right away. And I'm like, wow, I'm shocked because there was 20 of these or whatever. And they picked mine out of all of those. And I didn't necessarily have the lowest price. I kind of went middle of the road. But I think it's because I had great pictures, I had a great description, I had great keywords. So they found my item and they had confidence that my item was gonna be the way the picture showed and the way I described it. So very, very important to do all that. So that's, that's it, you guys. Don't get discouraged by slow sales. It's gonna happen. eBay is cyclical. It goes up and down in the middle <laughs> and all over the place. And all these platforms are the same way. It's just the way it is. And you know, a lot of times it's because of the way the world is going. Like I feel like it is now because of inflation. Sometimes it's just the way it is. eBay has seasons. Um, obviously Christmas, for me anyway, is the best. Uh, but you know, summer sometimes could be slow. Um, you know, it just depends. It really, really does. So don't get discouraged about that and don't don't let that stuff sway you. It's just circumstances. Don't worry about that. You worry about you and what you can do and what you can do is list the items you have. My goal is to list 10 a day. I'd love to get up to 20, but it's tough. I mean, because I'm not listing sell similar. Um, I am listing unique items. Now people who have sell similar um, you could list 30, 40 a day, whatever, but you know, that's not me. And I don't go list, 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 list all day. I just, you know, I list a few and then like, you know, I go attend to my emails or whatever else I got going on. And then I go list again. And a lot of times I take pictures. I take a whole bunch of pictures at once then I upload them. And I use a camera, you guys. I know a lot of people use their phone. I don't like using my phone. I have, um, actually my camera's over there. I forgot the brand of it, but I just, I like using a regular camera. So then I just, um, upload it to my computer from the cable that comes with the camera and they go right on there. And then that way my phone's not tied up with pictures. I just don't like using my phone, but I know I'm, unusual that way. I think most people are using their smartphone to take pictures for eBay and that's great. Those are wonderful pictures. I have no problem with the quality of the pictures from my phone. I just don't like using that. So I use a regular camera and get those pictures up there and then I start my, my research 
And then what I do is I, I find the highest sold item and then I use that as my template. I say sell similar off of their template. I don't do it off of mine because the reason is, and not everybody does this, is because that person, let's say we have the same item that I'm selling. A lot of times it's similar, it's not the same, but if it's the same item they sold for the highest price, I'm going to click sell similar because they have all those, not always, but sometimes, they have the item specifics already filled out that I don't have to fill out. So it's done for me and the category is chosen and the thing is that item sold in that category. So I don't have to go guessing what category should I put it in. Obviously if it's closing, clothing, it's really easy. But sometimes there are categories that are very close. So you're like, wow, which one do I pick? Well, I'm always looking at what sold and what category they used. So that's very key and that's the way I do it and I've always done well going that way. So you do what you want. If you want to do sell similar off of your existing listings, that's fine. But I like doing a sell similar off of the highest sold item because like I said, everything's there for me already. I don't have to worry about it. So hopefully this helps you guys. I'm really, really hoping that I'm inspiring you and I'm helping you and I'm giving you some very useful and helpful tips to grow your business because that's what this channel is all about, growing your business, you know, you getting the most profitable, profitable items to sell. And so you can, you know, put food on your family's table if that's what you're doing, where you're paying your bills, you're going on vacations, whatever you use this money for. I'm, I'm hoping to help you so you could be the most profitable eBay, etc. seller. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up, a like. If you want to share this content, if you think it would help somebody you know, that would be awesome. Feel free to leave me a comment. Guys, it's Sunday. I hope you're enjoying your Sunday and you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.